Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress with jQuery white tutorial for beginners and this is our part 5. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we implement dialog box and their effects of jQuery UI in WordPress. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about part number 5. So basically guys, in this playlist so far what we have seen this is the playlist guys that we have created that is how to use jQuery UI with WordPress. So far we have seen about the autocomplete, accordion and the date picker. So basically if this is your first video session guys then you can watch our previous video sessions from this playlist and also for the code section you can download all the previous existing codes from this github link. Ok so just back to editor. So in this video session guys we are going to implement the dialog box. First of all we should go this is the jQueryUI.com this is the official website of jQuery UI ok so inside the widget section we can see our uh, option is there something called dialog ok so just I'm going to click and this is a dialog page so if I scroll down this is the dialog box actually the WordPress or sorry jQuery UI provides ok so how can we make this type of dialog box to our WordPress setup ok so if I click on view source this is the code that we have to use to make the dialog box ok so first of all we have to make a layout section and now we have to call the dialog method ok so before calling dialog method to use jQuery UI dialog we have to use a library file ok so if I scroll down this is WP in script this is a WordPress function guys which basically used to attach a JavaScript file to WordPress ok so if I scroll down as we can see that jQuery UI dialog ok so if we want to use jQuery UI dialog we have to pass this parameter to our WP in Q script ok so just I'm going to copy back to editor and now inside this function that we have made that is jQuery UI JS file basically this is a function guys which ad adds or attached the our JS files to our admin panel ok so basically I'm going to copy this line after copying this line just I'm going to add the jQuery UI dialog that we have copied ok this is the parameter that we have to pass so successfully we have included the library file next what we have to do we have to make a sub menu because while making that plugin we have a jQuery UI WP basically these are the things that we have seen something called accordion also complete and date picker so next we have to add something called dialog ok so just I'm going to copy this line again and let's say that add submenu page this is the parent slug this is instead of date picker let's say dialog ok just I'm going to copy and replace with date picker ok this is capability manager that is manage options it's ok and now we have to change the callback function so this is not the callback function this is the slug ok this is the submenu slug so let's say that this is called ok this is WP jQuery UI dialog ok this is the slug Next we have to make the callback function. So this is the callback function. Okay. So WP jQuery UI callback function. So it's not date picker, it's dialog. Okay. So basically these are the parameters guys that we have to pass inside this add submenu page. So if I refresh this page, go to jQuery UI WP and this is the dialog that we have added. Okay. But right now we have not defined the callback function. So just I'm going to copy this callback function let's add this so function this is the callback function and now we have to put some definition section inside that okay so basically we are going to make a file we are going to make a file inside this views folder that file actually is responsible to put the dialog box in it okay so let's make a file inside this views folder something called dialog okay so just I'm going to make a PHP file let's say dialog.php okay inside this file guys we are going to make copy of this content and now I'm going to paste it okay so just copy this content and paste inside this file okay so successfully we have created a dialog.php file and paste all the contents that we have copied okay now it's time to call this file inside this function okay so just I'm going to use the PHP buffer concept okay so just we have to insert the buffer and finally at the last we have to end the clean this is the PHP function which we have to use to clear the buffer okay finally we have to read this file okay so basically we have to include this file so just I'm going to copy this line paste it here this is the constant guys which basically gives you the path up to jQuery UI 
panels okay this is a plugin folder so this constant actually gives you the path up to this plugins because at front we have defined this path as you can see okay so by going inside this plugins folder we have to go inside this views folder okay so inside views we have to attach a file called dialog okay this is the file that we have created and the next line we have to include something called template this is the variable okay and inside this variable we have to store all the contents of the buffer okay so this is the PHP function basically used to get the contents and stored okay so just I'm going to next we have to echo this variable okay so let's say echo and template okay so if I save this file go to browser and reload this page once we reload go inside this plugin click on dialog and these are the contents that we have included okay so right now it is not formatting as we actually we can see right here this is the dialog box and now we have a simple content this is because we have not used the JS file so far so next we have to include the JS methods as something called dialog okay so just I'm going to copy go to editor and now open up the skip.js file okay so far this is the file that we have made okay so inside this let's say I'm going to copy something called this is dialog okay so if I make it jQuery instead of dollar symbol so let's say jQuery okay and this is the guys this is the ID of the selector this is the ID of this div okay this is the ID so if we change something called OWT we have to change if I save this file we have to change right here also okay so this is the method that we have to attach to call the dialog box okay so just I'm going to get rid of all these contents remove all these things also and now this is the fresh code that we need to call a dialog method okay so if I save this file go to browser and now reload this page once we reload as we can see this is the dialog box that we have implemented by using the concept and documentation of jQuery UI dialog okay so the basic steps is that we have to use this layout or instead you we can also modify the layout of dialog box we can just put simple form contents or elements and also we can actually make the sign up login registration and many types of form by using the same concept only we have to put all the contents inside this div okay and by putting any unique id of this div we have to call this id right here with this dialog method okay and by using this dialog method we have to actually import the method called jquery ui dialog in wordpress okay so the next thing that we want to implement is that guys that we want that this dialog box should not be appeared on the page refresh we want that we will make a button and after clicking on that button that dialog box will be appear okay so how can we achieve that so just go to dialog.php file first we have to make a file or a button let's say that button let's say that open dialog okay inside this open dialog it's a past uh, ID of this button so let's say btn dialog open okay so just I'm going to copy this ID go to script.js and let's say that we are going to bind this ID with the event listener okay so this is the ID on let's say click function this is the anonymous function that we actually are going to bind with this click event just copy this and paste inside that okay so if I save this file, reload this page and now this is the button okay so successfully before actually opening the dialog box we can see that this is the static content where is the static content this is the static content that we have written right here okay so first of all we have to make that a style display equal to none okay and also let's make some formatting to that so if I just get rid of that let's say div style margin top and let's say 50 pixel okay and paste all the contents inside this div so if I reload this page this is the dialog button okay so I'm just clicking on this button and now as we can see that this is the dialog box just I'm going to click again this is the dialog box so suppose if we want to make some form elements inside this body so just back to editor inside this p tag let's say form tag inside this form tag let's make a id so let's say frm this is form panel and inside this a form tag we need to put some of the form elements okay so let's say label let's say enter name okay 
input type text box txt name okay so if I save that and also we have to make a button so just to get rid of that and let's say that div class form elements okay inside this div just I want to paste the label section okay and also let's make a button to submit this form so let's a button submit okay and also let's say action equal to JavaScript void okay method equal to post okay so successfully guys we have made a simple form with this dialog box so if I refresh this page once we click this is the form that we have made okay so now what actually we are going to do next with this dialog box we are going to apply some of the effects to this dialog box so if I go to dialog so basically to use the effects on our dialog box just scroll down and now inside this effect section we have an option called effect just I'm going to click on that as we can see that this is the dialog box okay so right now blind section is selected so if I click on run effect this is the blind effect okay and also if I click on bounce click on this is the bounce effect if I click on clip or drop this is drop okay so how can we actually implement these type of effects to our dialog box okay so basically guys to use this effect suppose if we want to use something called clip or drop explode anything if you want to use just go to WP and script and inside that we can see just scroll down these are the effects that actually WordPress has provided something called jQuery UI effects blind okay so if we want to use the functionality of blind we have to import this file okay so just I want to click copy this code and let's say that within this jQuery UI panels first of all we have to import that okay so let's say that jQuery UI instead of dialog we have our jQuery effects blind okay because we are going to use a blind effect and also let's use another effect for that so let's say that drop okay or explode okay so just I want to copy explode okay so next we have to import that also so this is jQuery effects explode so successfully guys we have imported these two files okay so how can we use these effects like blind and explode to our dialog box okay so just go to skip.js file inside this dialog we have to pass an object inside this object let's say show okay this is the property that we have to show when the dialog box opens okay and the second parameter we have to use called hide okay this is the effect which actually appears when the dialog box closes okay so let's that inside this show parameter we have to pass called effect okay and basically we have used two effects right here called blind and explode okay so let's plus blind blind to this effect section okay and duration let's say 2000 millisecond this is the duration of the, this effect okay so successfully we have attached the blind effect with the so means when the dialog box appears this effect will take place okay and also in case of hide let's add effect and we have another effect that we have added something called explode okay so just I'm to copy and paste inside this effect second let's say duration okay this is the duration of this effect so let's say again 2000 millisecond okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this page so let's click on open dialog and as we can see that this is the effect of blind and on close this is the explode effect again I'm clicking on open dialog this is the blind effect okay and I'm going to close this dialog box as you can see that this is the explode effect so if we want to use more effects of jQuery UI something called suppose if we are going to use called bounce effect okay if I click on bounce run effect this is the effect that we want to implement go to WP and create scripts and now we have to import this file okay Just jQuery UI effects and this is the bounce okay so if I copy this content go to UI panel and instead of these effects if I make just copy of the all these let's say that jQuery effects instead of explode this is a bounce effect okay and also on close we want to show the effect something called if I click on seek run effect and this is the safe effect okay if I click on drop 
this is the drop effect okay so we want to use on close of our dialog box we're going to use called the drop effect so just copy this content go to editor and let's add called the drop effect okay next we have to use this library files to our JS files okay so instead of blind we have used called the bounce effect okay so this is the bounce effect and now we have to use the in case of close we have to use the drop okay so let's say drop okay so once we save this file go to dialog box page reload this page and now when I click on open dialog as we can see that this is the bounce effect again if I close this this is the drop effect takes place okay again I'm clicking on that this is the bounce effect close this dialog box this is the drop effect so successfully guys by the help of this video session we actually seen that how can we implement dialogs and effects of jQuery UI in WordPress and also guys if suppose you want to make this dialog box as a model as a model box so you have to add a parameter right here something called model equal to true by adding this parameter or overlay will take place behind our dialog box okay so if I load this page click on open dialog box and now we can see that uh, black is overlay actually takes place behind our dialog box if I close this file as you can see the background color changes if I open this dialog box overlay has actually appeared if I click on that this is the drop effect okay so successfully by adding this parameter we actually convert a simple dialog box of jQuery into a model form okay so guys I think that I have made much more clear concept about that how can we make use of dialog box and their effects and so many more things okay so in this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day